The link between academic failure and delinquency, violence, and crime is welded to reading failure. Over 70% of inmates in America's prisons cannot read above a fourth grade level. And many inmates don't have this opportunity for literacy. And I thought that there was some way that I could help. That's why I decided to host the book drive. I'm Kathy Phillip, and I'm a sophomore at Carrollwood Day School. In eighth grade, I read a book called The Sun to Shine by Mr. Anthony Ray Hinton. He was wrongly convicted and put on death row for a crime that he didn't commit. But in death row, he started a book club to help him and other inmates escape their mental cells that they were put in. My Catholic faith has taught me how to be merciful and see past judgment. In America, it's really a luxury that we can have an education, and especially for me, I've been granted the ability to have education, but a lot of people in America can't have that luxury. For a part of a 10th grade project at my school, we have to host a personal project to benefit the community in some way. And I chose to host a book drive in my community as well as in my church community and donate old books to correctional facilities across Florida. These range from adult correctional facilities to juvenile centers where I can donate young adult books, children's books, and adult books. So far we've collected so many books and I'm really excited about how this project is going to turn out. Data has shown that increasing the literacy rates will decrease crime. People who don't have access to an education or who drop out in middle school or high school often commit more crimes and being able for others to have an education, a proper education, where they can graduate middle school, high school, and eventually college will reduce their criminal activity. Old correctional facilities really um, can have a wide range of books. These can range from fiction to nonfiction to even books in other languages. Uh, Right now, it's a really hard time to try and get books into these correctional facilities. And so they do accept a wide range of books. There are just certain limitations that I'll have to figure out how to overcome and which books can't be donated. Uh, the books that can't be donated, I'll try and donate to another place in Florida or even across the world and help others. Maybe not in correctional facilities, but people who do need books. I really wanted to be able to do this project and try and impact as many people that I can. And the story is, if your presence makes no impact, your absence will make no difference.